every single one of these metal crates are World War II era rocket launcher crates. Welcome back to Charge Journey with Jeeves, guys, and today we're gonna go clean out a little locker that we bought because there is something epic looking sitting right in the front. We had to pay a good amount for it, but I think it's really gonna pay off. Let's get in the van, get on the road, and go check it out. Here we are guys, this little tiny locker up here, not even a five by five, and we paid $300. That's how bad these auctions were recently, but there's something right in the front that I just have a weak spot for. Let's get into it, let me show you. Two things I always have a weak spot for are safes and chests. This metal chest sitting right at the front is something I've never seen before. It's metal and I had to have the unit no matter what I went for because it would have drove me crazy for the rest of my life if I didn't know what was in there. So let's start moving stuff to see and get into that safe. I think this is going to be closed. Ooh. Ooh. No. A lot of stuff back there. Is it? Good, 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 good. <laughs> All right, so what do we, what, what's in here? Rudolph? Um, Frosty? Um, Headphones? some Bluetooth earbuds. Okay, okay. What are these? It's like a brand new Some more stuff. earbuds. I don't know. What's up with this? It's like all brand new stuff. Shoe. Some shoes. This thing's like something we'll go through when we get home because <laughs> I feel like it's very random. But if there's new Skull Candy earbuds and Bluetooth earbuds on the top, I'm not going to say it's going to be bad. It might be good. Let's get this bag down. It's definitely not closed like I was going to guess. It's much harder than that. Let's open it up right from the top. What is this thing? <laughs> Why is this unit so random? That's like new baby, baby clothes. It's all new baby stuff. Look at it that. Is. Don't touch it. It's bad luck. Oh my gosh. Be touching. <laughs> no, it's bad luck. Don't touch it. <laughs> um, what else do we got going? Just very. This thing. Oh, it's like a staple gun. It's like a brand new staple gun, I think. Nice. Why is everything new? I don't know. That's like a. Looks like, it's like call a strainer. It. Yeah. This is gonna be Phone fun to case. go through at home. Oh yeah. <laughs> Look. Tom brand new lock. Okay. This is very weird. Again, it's just like random household stuff mixed in with random brand new stuff. So cool. So I just threw a roll of wallpaper over there, and then we got <laughs> this. A deluxe video transfer system, guys. Woo, if this was like, you know, 1999, we would be set right now. We also got an executive charging station. Okay. A very old looking book. This just looks like a, a power thing. It might just be, like you give it a fancy name. <laughs> is this a Bible or what is this? Huh, not sure. And this, so these pictures, now this is art, it looks like, look at this. It says Michelle. Michelle. All right, what about these, I think there's a couple more in here. It's another clown. Michelle again. So I'm guessing this is a collection. Looks like it, doesn't it? All right. And, well, surprisingly enough, another clown. And a rock. A rock. This is off to a very strange start. Let's see what's in this blue tote. At this point, I don't know what the heck is going to be in here. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. There's like no theme. Hugo's Spanish Simplified. All right. All right. What's this? A creepy dog. Ooh, look, look, look. Creepy dog. Ooh, Ferrari. Ferrari, Ferrari on it. What is it? <laughs> Think it could be something that comes with a car? Utopia 3. Oh, it's a VR set. All right. Why do they put it in there? Look, there's pencils at the bottom of it. Why are you going to put it in a Ferrari <laughs> bag, man? Give me a hyped. All right, let's look at the doll. Look at that. Mm. Porcelain? Porcelain yeah. doll. Yeah. 
But it looks like it's like just came out of a very like explosion or something. Like yeah. it just came out of a collapsed mine. Um, this, what are these? These are all pencils. <laughs> what is this unit? And how long has this stuff been in here? Yeah, this is just like, like old stuff. School. I feel like it's school supplies from like the 50s or something. <laughs> I don't know what else to think of it. It's just random. Let's see what's in here. Um, I just don't know anymore. What do we have? Oh, look at that. It's Bobbler. The Osborne, the Osborne the family Osborne. bobblehead. <laughs> cool. This is a clear TV. This is like a signal radio thing. Looks like there's some old toys in here. Look at these, Ooh. they're metal. We got some good lots for the auction this weekend. These are Dyer, Dyersville. I don't see a date on them, but the fact that they're metal makes me think that they're at least kind of old because nowadays everything's made of plastic, it's cheaper. Look at that. United Van Lines. Hmm. Again though, no date that I see right now, but we'll let you know later on. Metal. All metal toys. Metal cars are good, guys. Look, this is all metal stuff. Hot Wheels in there. Look at this vintage Hot Wheels car. He is from... Ah, I just can't tell. It's so annoying. All right, we'll look at it later. We'll let you know in a recap. But this bag seems interesting for sure. Look. Here's more metal Hot Wheels. Awesome. All right, let's see what's in the big part of the bag though because the zipper is busted what's that no Whoa. way that's signed by magic johnson is that live that's a live signature that's a live signature that's signed by magic johnson that is insane <laughs> holy crap that's one of the coolest things i've seen in a while nice i see nice. more oh there's another plaque not sign, but Tim mm -hmm. Brown. Hi, Tim Brown. Ooh, what is this now? It's crushed though. But it was a Rangers um, Rodriguez figure. <laughs> but they crushed it a little bit. Plastic's a little beat. That's old though. She hasn't been a Rangers in a long time. Mm -mm. There's something on the side here. How do I get to it? Oh, it's cards. Baseball, baseball cards, football, football cards. cards yeah. Oh, football, I'm seeing. Let's make sure. Oh, there's basketball, basketball in there, too. Basketball, football, and baseball. They're all in there? Yeah, it's all in there. Look. It looks like mixed eras, too. What is that? Lord of the Rings, too. <laughs> all right, it looks like mixed eras, too. Like, I'm seeing some right. newer stuff, some older stuff, all kinds of everything in the middle. I like this bag. Any on this side? No. Anything in the back pocket? No. I think that's about it for this little pack, but no, there's something in here. I gotta find out what it is. Everything I've pulled out has been interesting in this box or bag. What is that thing I feel? Oh, well, <laughs> I had to keep pushing it. Eventually, I was bound to pull out some crap. Yeah, here comes the crap. All right, everything else besides, we're gonna act like this pocket here didn't exist. There's money <laughs> in here, though. I feel it. Look at this. Mm. Nice. It's like almost a dollar. <laughs> a nickel fell. That's actually a dollar. Well, there's more change in there. Another quarter. Yep, over a dollar officially. Nice. Whoa, money, autograph memorabilia, and toys. That's the bag I was looking for. Next bag from that back corner where that one just came from. Let's hope it's kind of some more of the same. Looks like the same bag. This looks like junk, but let's see what's in the inside. That's what matters. Oh, well, now this is going to be not that kind of stuff. This looks like more like crafting stuff, doesn't it? Yeah. A whole bunch of stickers and just random artsy stuff. So huh. we'll probably just put this stuff up as much as we could fit in a flat rate box and put it as like a lot in the auction yeah. and see what people want for it. So I finally cleared up everything around the chest. So now I'm going to get it out and then set it on the side for a while and keep going through other stuff. Got this bag here. Feels like Stuff. <laughs> not clothes when I say stuff. That's what I mean when I say not when I say stuff. Not clothes. Um well it's definitely it's random. Definitely stuff. Let's set some <laughs> of it out. I see a phone, I think. 
just a random smartphone. Um, let's see, there's another phone. Cool pad. There's two of them right here. And well, let's see, is this like a purse? Get out of there. Just some random, I see bubbles and pens and a watch. Careful, that's what you're touching right there. Is that what I think it is? Blue and purple thing. No, it's not. Yes, it is. <laughs> I gotta go wash my hands. <laughs> um, well, this is a torch. And well, it's just so random. Yeah. Let's see what's in here. It's just like an old folder with random paper. So weird. Like, it's not like you choose the store. It's so random. Butter. Is it in there? That is butter. Yes, we still have butter. Butter's All in there. Right. We're doing good, guys. But the rest of this stuff, it's just junk. If you want an idea how long this stuff's been in here, this is the calendar I found. And look at that. 1990. So it's probably been in here for a good 30 years, if I had to guess. Because why else would you keep a random calendar from 30 years ago? Unless that's when it was thrown in here. That's my guess. Let's see what we have. Well, we got golf clubs. This looks like it has some old, ancient looking books and stuff. Like, look at these, they look Oh, that's Charlie Brown book. Is it? Mm -hmm. Oh, this is that. As you like it, Charlie Brown from, oh, it's comic strip too. Let's see if we can find a date on it. This is the fifth printing from 1967, unfortunately, mm -hmm. so. Not gonna be overly valuable. There's quite a few Charlie Brown books, look at this. Charlie Brown, Charlie Brown, Charlie Brown. Lots of laughs. Charlie Brown, Charlie Brown. Um, joke, joke book. book. A so Rubik's Charlie Cube Brown. book. Yeah, there's a lot of books in here. Some of these could definitely be worth some money. By the way, this is a Juicy Couture purse, but it's not in that great of shape. It looks a little dusty. I think it's been in there for a long time. So I just got this big heavy boy down and it looks like just a bunch of old books again. And when we do a recap, we'll kind of go through them. And if anything's worthwhile, we'll show you in the recap, but I don't want to go through like 50 books and they'll all be worth nothing. That's no fun. So we also got a big thing of golf clubs here. I don't think it's a set because it looks like mixed brands and stuff. There's only 12 of them total, but I could see three different brands just by looking at the top. So maybe we'll bottom up on Facebook Marketplace and hope for the best. I may have just pulled something <laughs> down and cheated just a little bit. But I think we have us a Nintendo 64, if I recognize my controllers, yes I do. With the green controller, the red controller, the wires, and there it is. Oh. A nice green Nintendo 64. Is that an Xbox 360 controller in here? And a random, oh there's a game. Ooh. Please be Mario Kart, or Super Mario Brothers. Nah, F-Zero X. Okay. But a random wired Xbox 360 controller that's gonna go in the trash. Look at that poor stick. You ain't using that, you ain't doing nothing with that, but that's the kind of stuff I like to see. I'm super excited, guys, but guess what? I went to slide this out the way, and look in that back corner. We don't have one of those epic looking chests. Two. We have three. Ooh, yeah. Two back there, <laughs> and this one right here. Three total metal chests in here. I am so glad we bought this. So under this pom-pom thing here, we have a bunch of good condition, but just low-end shoes. So this will probably all just be donated because we'd only get like a dollar or two a pair and it's not really worth piecing them out for 20 bucks over two weeks. I'd rather just help some people out. And we get this right here, which is more video games? No. Just toys? Toys, but big toys. Let's see, is that Hercules? Oh, yes it is. Oh, he's missing his arm. Poor Hercules. Please, car. Ah, oh, I see. Blossom. Blossom. Bubbles. Where's Buttercup? Another Blossom. Bigger Blossom. Hmm. But some interesting looking toys, at least. I see Snoopy down there, too. What is that? Ah. Oh. The orange and blue trolls me. What is that? That's from Toy Story. That's kind of creepy. Is that Lisa down there too? Lisa, so. Find some good stuff in here. Huh? Rugrats? Yep. So 
there's definitely some good little toys in here. We'll definitely go through and make up lots and things like that because there's a lot of highly recognizable shows. So I like that tote. Since we have two more chests, I figured let's not keep waiting on it. What does it say? I don't know what it says. Look at that. S N Rocket. What? Am you? Hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. S N Rocket Ammunition. Something solid. Something. Okay. Okay. Ooh, I hope. There's latches on every side. All right. You ready for this? <gasps> yeah. Three, two, one. I'm not cheating. It's not good, guys. Uh, let's see. Don't do that. Sorry. So it looks like. This one's like, I was about to say Christmas, but he's not Christmas. What is he? There's no markings on this guy. I mean, he's got a candle. He's got to be Christmas. That looks like this part's probably missing from it. Let's see her. Let me stand him up here. Ooh. I'm going to dust in this unit. Yeah, there's Whoa. a lot of dust. All right, but there's another one. He looks like he's missing part of his candle. So, we got those two figures. Oh, ah, that's power it. tools. Dang it. The rest of it is tools, but I definitely think this crate is military of some sort. Yes. So that might have some type of collector's value too, depending on what it really is. Hopefully you guys that are in the military, let us know down in the comments. Let's see what's in this blue bag here. What is that? A brass knuckle medallion. That's pretty G, not gonna lie. Some bracelets and things like that in here. Maybe we get a lot of bracelets out of it. Get off my finger toy. Um, let's see what else is in there. Lunchbox full of... Random. These are pens and pencils. So, I'm gonna get school supplies. Uh, and well, what is that? Oh, makeup. I thought this was a display case, something else autographed. Oh, get out. A few more toys. It looks like we got a lot of more vintage books in here. Animal Logic. Look at these. Some of these look old. The Home Pro Guide. Hmm. Old plumbing books. The Jimmy Carter Dictionary. Memoirs of Josephine Mutzenbacher. That's good. <laughs> was that good? That was good. Thank you, thank you. More of Charlie Brown. Nice. Old <clears throat> odd facts. Flip violin. Just, I mean, a bunch of interesting old books that could definitely, definitely hold some value. There's a lot more in there. I just don't want to go through them all right now. So we're definitely be doing a lot of research on this unit. So I see this porcelain set. It looks really nice if it's not busted. Oh, that didn't sound good. Actually, it looks to all be there. Look at that. And it's all not broken. I love I love and hate these. I love them because people love to buy them and they're worth a decent amount of money. I hate them because USPS likes to, I guess, punt every package they get. I can put it in 80 layers of bubble wrap, 10 layers of that, and write fragile in it 40 times. It still gets there broken. It's like, I hate them because I feel like I almost have to sell them locally because if I don't, I just know I'm gonna end up having to refund them because the USB has shattered everything. Just pulled down this green bag too. What's in here? Crafting stuff again, it looks like it's gonna be. So let's open it up. It looks like, yeah, more crafting stuff. Definitely, oh look, make your own Marvel characters. What is this? Is that a laser? Looks like it, doesn't it? Looks like it, yeah. Is that what this pen was in? It looks like it, what was it? Have earbuds? I don't know. Maybe it saves music on it as a pen. That's pretty cool, actually. This just looks like a bunch more crafting stuff that I'm not gonna take out. Ooh, a coffin. Halloween crafting stuff. Yeah, Halloween crafting, ooh, <laughs> bugs. That I'm just gonna leave in there. Again, we'll probably just lot it all up for the live auction. Guys, yeah, definitely excited about this one because look down here. Books, cool, but you see what that says, right? Jewel of <laughs> Let's see if we got any jewel of Brie in here. Oh, it doesn't look like it. Oh, it looks like it's gonna be a bathroom or something. Yeah, but 
Remember what Grimes told us. He always That's finds jewelry find in the bathroom stuff. And, and there it is. <laughs> there's the jewelry in the bathroom stuff. <laughs> but it all looks like costume jewelry. That's way too bright to be gold. Yeah. Um, I don't think any of this is going to be real jewelry. I think it's all going to be costume jewelry. But it look good, though. Yeah, it's got some rocks there. That's interesting still. I'll go in a costume jewelry lot, if anything. Let's see, let's see. This other stuff, I'll take a bunch. Whoa. Oh, okay. yeah. It's an iPhone. Model A1522. Apple people. What is that? Mm -hmm. It's not cracked either. Mm -mm. Surprised. Usually every iPhone ever, like I feel like the moment it comes out of the box, it just cracks. Um, mm -hmm. What else do we have in here? This is an interesting box now. Yeah. Is another phone? Another calculator. <laughs> All right. Calculators. Almost tossed that aside. Ooh, look at that. Like a little pearl necklace a bracelet maybe. It looks too small to be a necklace. I think it's a bracelet. Still cool. Well, I think this is what else we have left is actual. Uh, it's makeup. I think everything else in here is going to be actual bathroom products. We'll go through this really quick, but that's probably the last thing. Yeah, I'm not seeing nothing in there. Random. Still a cool box. Real quick, I was about to look up this container um, based on like the stuff that you guys saw earlier, and I found this writing right here. So it says 2.25 rocket uh, container MK2 mod G. It looks like, and then I see 1945 plus uh, um, some other numbers right here. So based off of this is my fat video gaming self, not real military knowledge. It looks like in games the case to keep like the rockets like a mortar fires out of it but that's just me being a gamer and i don't know but i'm hoping they have some value let's see what's in the wooden crate here a little different from the military grade crate cases dvds all right so some dvds oh look a playstation 3 wireless controller we just found like what four or five of them in the other unit checkbook oh my um, not seeing too much in here. Besides DVDs, which are always good now. I didn't make it a lot. Ooh, what is this thing here? Oh, that's cool. That's cool. It's like a bracelet with a bunch of coins. coins in it. Yeah, that's cool. Nice. Oh, look at this. Ooh, a key. <laughs> get off, get off. I love these like old skeleton looking keys. They're so cool. Uh, not much else in there. Let's go on this side and see what we have. Is any optical, at least they know. <laughs> By the way, guys, I don't wear glasses, but everyone in our family, if you're paying like $50, $60 or more for a pair of glasses, go to zanyoptical.com. How much do you pay? <laughs> I pay about $10 a pair. Yeah, that's ridiculously cheap. A seven transistor, transceiver. Whoa, what is that? That looks super cool. <laughs> um, <laughs> is that like an, I don't know. What is that? That's a transceiver. Thank you. <laughs> that's super cool looking though. That's good. I bet you that's gonna have some type of value. Gate on there? And there wasn't on the actual model, but here's a, it's model WT-78. Okay. That helps. And it looks like we're probably gonna have a second one here. Probably looks like, you know, some outdated like walkie talkie type things. Hmm. That would be my guess if I had to take a guess. All right. Put it back together. Other than that, and the bracelet, the DVDs. Not so, oh, is that a video game? It is, look at this, True Grimes, Streets of LA. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me make sure these are, look, PS3, Batman 3. Batman again for PlayStation 3. There might be some video games mixed in this lot. Modern Warfare 3. Star Wars for PS3. Maybe one of these crates in the back is full of video games. Now that would be cool. All right, car people. Is this something significant? I wonder why they had it matted to a piece of cardboard. It's a GMC Giant Killer does 200,000 miles a year standing still. <laughs> they know how to clickbait even back then. These are good guys. They know what they're doing. So hopefully that has some value. But then again, people like to keep weird stuff that's significant to them. It doesn't necessarily mean it has money value. Just 
value to them. So let's hope it does. So we got a nice full-size tarp here. That's usually about an easy $10 on Facebook Marketplace. Someone always needs one of those. And let's get down to this. Because it definitely looks weird and random. Hey, look, another phone. What is that, number four for here? <laughs> I think so. Fourth phone. Set that aside. These shoes are, what's the brand on these suckers? Uh, Charlotte Roos. It's all right. What's in here? I better not actually be hard candy, I swear. <laughs> in there since the 90s. Nope. Some more costume jewelry. Not bad, not bad. Um, well, what else do we see in here? I see lots of Play-Doh. You think it's still good after 30 years? Yes. Let's see. Oh, yes it is. Ooh. I love Play-Doh. The feeling of it, the smell of it, it's just so... You just kind of drift off into this paradise. <laughs> I'm weird, sorry. Deal with me. Um, well, we got... That is an actual ancient-looking dirt devil vacuum. <clears throat> and other than that... This looks like a bunch of shoes and things like that. So we went through some of the bags. A lot of it's clothes mixed in with personal pictures. That's why you didn't really see it because it takes forever to edit that out. And I found a candy cane and I was like, why would this be in a storage unit? And then I realized they sent it to me for a reason. This magical bag up here. You see that? This is what it's for. This is why we were sent this candy cane from the other world to get this down. <laughs> All right, let's see. And it's just closed. Oh well, but but I did find two interesting things. A November Beanie Baby okay. that was in there. And this weird Archer printed circuit <laughs> kit for hobbyists and experimental projects. I'm not sure what it is or what kind of value it has, but it looks like you design your own electric circuits. Nice. But definitely something I've never seen before. Only with two things left in there. Let's get in those chests. All right, so I got the second chest down. It is way heavier than the first one. And it says the same thing as right? Rocket container from 1945. Yeah. So I have a feeling these crates are gonna definitely have some type of value on their own, but ooh, I think we'll have an actual just like rocket in there. Please. That'd be so cool. Oh, looks like a lot of books and paperwork. Okay, old books. Looks like more of the same stuff we've been finding, like some old magazines, some old books. Oh, that's nice. Uh, what are these? Made simple library books. This is a portable air conditioner. An old auto racing book. Um, not seeing anything that stands out right now, but. You never know what magazines and books. There could be one of value in there somewhere. Now let's see what's in the third World War II rocket case. This one's got a lot of weight too. All right. Let's undo all these pitches again. All right. Got it? I can't get it with my left hand. Oh, there it is. All right, you ready? Let's see what's in this one. All right. I see something Halo. A Halo book. Um, some, look, World War II stuff right here. A World War II book. A uh, Halo book. It's a game guy for Halo, actually. Some car stuff. What is that? Like a battery thing? Yeah. Rapid charge. Oh, uh, well. It looks like this one's going to be all books, too. It doesn't necessarily mean it's worthless. It just doesn't mean... It means I just don't know what I have yet. I have to go home and look stuff up because I do not know books at all. But for now, guys, that's all that's in the unit. So we're going to get it cleaned up, get it home, sort through it, and then do a recap and let you know what we got. So before we can start going through the items we found, I got to say, we did some more research in every single one of these metal crates are World War II era rocket launcher crates. Crazy! Every single one of these were made to hold the rockets, put in rocket launchers. That's what we found by searching up the information written on them. So how these ended up in some random person's storage unit, I don't know. But I gotta say, that's one of the coolest things to come out of this unit. All right, so we've pretty much gone through everything in the unit. Let's do a quick little recap. Number one, we ended up with five smartphones. This is an iPhone 6 Plus. There was a Samsung, and the rest of them are just kind of cheaper phones. But maybe the iPhones were selling on its own. I don't know how many gigs it is yet. I haven't looked it up. The only thing we haven't gone through yet are these old books here. If there's any valuable ones, you'll probably see a lot during a live auction for those. 
that's good. We ended up with maybe 10 DVDs, not enough for a lot, and like five or six video games. We have games from other units and DVDs from other units, so we might just make two lots of those, lot them up. The Magic Johnson card, we actually sold in our last live auction already for 110, <laughs> so that was cool. I knew that would be a good amount. This and this is all costume jewelry, so I mean, this is heavy too. There's a lot of it in there, so we'll definitely have a lot of costume jewelry for our costume jewelry people. We were making like a toy lot with cars and metal cars and things like that. Over here, where did our medium flat rate go? Here it is. This is a huge lot of toys we're gonna have for our auction. I'm talking like probably 50 to 70 vintage toys. Most of them for 80s, 90s, or early 2000s, so still pretty good. This Nintendo 64 over here, Apparently it's the Donkey Kong edition. It's like a $150 system with this green one and that red controller. Only downfall right now is the reset button stuck, but it's like six screws to take it out and put some rubbing alcohol and get it unstuck. That's not hard. That's about 150 bucks, and that's actually like a $20, $30 game. So that right here, this little bundle, is at least $170, $180 on eBay. The Magic Johnson card was $110. So I mean, those two things pretty much paid for our whole $300 unit. And then we got toys, jewelry, and this is just kind of our misc right misc. now. <laughs> stuff that's keeping but i don't know how we're gonna divide it up yet like we said we got some of the old you'll probably see definitely see a lot of old peanuts books these old mad books have some collector value and then we still have those totes full of more old books so overall this unit did really good not to mention those um world war ii crates are like 30 bucks online too so that's almost another hundred dollars sitting right there so i think it's an easy double easy fun unit and i'm just so happy i got to know what was in that creek because i don't think i would have ever slept again but anyway thanks for watching leave it a like subscribe if you're new and until next time peace out